Hello South Africa. Today is Sunday, 13 AD November 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Husband beaten to death in front of wife at party outside Dahlstrom. How horrific. A husband was reportedly beaten to death at a party outside Dahlstrom in front of his wife. The worst part is it was a friend that attacked him. According to a report by Marilla Media, the incident happened on a farm during a 40th birthday on a farm outside Dahlstrom recently. Shocking, double amputee shot multiple times in bed. A slain double amputee in Alexandria, Eastern Cape had very slim chances of survival after armed men stormed into his home and shot him multiple times. It is alleged that on Wednesday, November 9, 2022 at about 22.30, three unknown armed men entered a house in Strelitzia Street, Winsel Park, Alexandria on a hunt for the deceased double amputee. Ingenious way phones are smuggled into prisons. Have you ever wondered how phones are smuggled into prisons? Well, wonder no more. Watch this ingenious way that phones are smuggled into prisons. This TikTok user recently posted how a visitor to a prison was caught out trying to smuggle phones to a prisoner. It is not clear at which prison this happened or when it took place. But it sure caught the attention of hundreds of thousands of TikTok users. Learners rush to hospital after consuming lollipops in KZN school. Approximately 40 learners from Lotusville Primary School in Verulam, KwaZulu-Natal were rushed to hospital when they displayed symptoms of food poisoning after consuming lollipops purchased during their market day event. The incident happened on Friday, November 11, 2022. According to Private Security Reaction Unit South Africa, RUSA, they received a call for assistance from an educator at approximately 11.42. Chwane, here's your updated load shedding schedule for Saturday. National Power Supplier, Eskom has confirmed that Stage 2 load shedding will be in place until further notice. If you live in the city of Chwane, here's your updated schedule. On Tuesday, November 8, Eskom said Stage 2 rolling blackouts would be implemented due to a breakdown of a Duva generating unit in Whitbank, Pumalanga and a delay in returning to service another Duva unit. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.